My dream was a big American dream. When I was a young kid, I started to design a shirt and pants and come to America to meet some of those rock stars. Wanted to get all the new ideas. When you see a trucker hat, I see a symbol of America, and I am the one to take the trucker hat on the head of all those American icons. The king of fashion. So I meet uh, Ed Hardy, the tattoo artist, and decide to make a brand base on his artwork. They called me up and said, well, we'd like to talk to you about putting your artwork on clothing. And I said, no, I'm not interested. But if he likes the work and you think he can make it happen, uh, what the hell, you know? But it was an absolute phenomenon. It was completely surreal. Louis Cannes meets James Dean. He really understood culture. I find it amazing. I mean, you must be really intelligent and genius. Uh, you know, why is uh, Nicolas Cage or Sylvester Stallone or Madonna or Britney Spears or any of these people, why did they want to wear that shirt? It's because of him. It's like we naturally bonded. There wasn't a road map for him. It was all in his head because it's all him. His heart was this big. It was too big for his body. He was such a family man. If you knew Christian, you knew about his family. He was a good guy in between being a killer. He was the ultimate fighter. He lived his dream and the pedal was to the metal. He got busted, I think, with about 14 French people. They were sitting there in jail in Bali. His daughter was maybe seven. You know, it was hard. Uh, it's still a mystery to me. How can Christian be who he was? When he created that brand, he gave himself over 100%. There was no real break. Christian lives every day like it's his last. Then we had some very intimate conversation about death and the possibility of dying. Your type of myelodysplastic syndrome fits into a fairly bad group and turn into an acute leukemia. La seule chose qu'il faut retenir de Christian Obligé, c'est ce qu'il a écrit à l'intérieur de ma main, c'est vif. C'est la façon dont je vis et c'est la façon dont je vais vous laisser. A vif is somebody that has this energy. Yeah, he was a big enjoyer of life. Everybody's vif. Even the guy, he sweep the floor. He is a vif. Vif. Christian was un vif. He was a vrai vif. And I had tatoué ça pour lui. Vif. <laughs> <laughs>